In this challenge, I want to learn basics of data analytics in our studio using just chat GPT and no other resources. Let's see if we succeed. So this is our day six of challenge to use chat GPT to learn data analytics in our studio without using other resources. We have employed the data set, set which is called empty cars. It's a small data set with just 32 cars and 11 characteristics. And in the previous days, please check them out. We learned how to use descriptive statistics, how to build histograms, how to build scatter plots, how to make linear regression. And in principle, in about 90% of cases, the code which was provided by ChatGPT worked perfectly. But of course, there are some small, more advanced pieces of code which didn't work perfect. So let's look how we can use ChatGPT for machine learning. Because obviously the previous example was about linear regression and for serious data analytics it will not be sufficient right it's a natural good benchmark but you want to try a couple of other methods and let's ask chat gpt to estimate four different machine learning algorithms let's see if chat gpt can manage of course it's a little bit ridiculous here because we have just 32 observations here but we start from something right and in principle if you replace empty cars with your own data it should work as well here if you just provide the names of the variables in your data set so please write our code for choosing the best of four different machine learning algorithms to estimate MP from other features. Let's use this machine learning term in empty cars. Okay, let's see. So we get some results. We have definitions. Aha, uh -huh. so it's actually very good. So you see here that ChatGPT provides detailed code and also some explanation, right? So if you're new to these machine learning methods, you can see uh, explanations. Uh, so here, the metric used is RMC, right? Root mean squared error. Of course, this is like a standard metric, right? To, to use RMC, but you can use others as well. But what you can see here, like this is, there is a little problem. There is a good thing here that ChatGPT split our data into train and test the data set. So about 70% of observations will end up in the train data set, but as it is common in machine learning, we will test outside of sample how it performs. And of course, I don't see the chat GPT checks whether the means of the covariates are the same in this randomly split uh, two subsamples, right? So that's something that has to be done. But there is a little bit bigger problem here because it's not reproducible, right? If you try to run this code on a freshly installed version of our studio, it will not work, right? Because these libraries might not be installed, right? So remember that you have first to install libraries and only then you can use them. So let's ask ChatGPT to fix it. So let's write that, please update the code to ensure that libraries are installed before you load them. Okay, and certainly, uh, I mean, if you know how to lead the conversation with ChatGPT, it will actually run it, right? And you see like this perfect code for that. It's uh, if require, right? So it will check these packages, right? If they are available, if not, it will install it and then we will load them. Okay, so actually it looks good. Uh, I don't know if it will run, but at least it looks good. Okay, good. So we have two packages and uh, let me copy this code. So let me go back to my R Studio. And again, if you're new to these results, let me briefly go over it. So first here we check if libraries are installed and if not, uh, we will install them. Then we load these libraries. So we have Caret and MLBench. Then we use the data set in principle. We don't need that because data is already uh, loaded. So again, set seed is for reproducibility, right? So if you rerun this code on your machine, it will get you the same result. And then we have, we are splitting our sample into train and test data set. 70% will be trained data set. Uh, and then we create uh, training and testing two different data sets. One is for training, another is for testing. 
then we run these four models, at least in theory, I don't know if it works, but at least in theory, including all of our covariates, again, this dot stands for all covariates, all features, then we have, then we apply uh, k-fold cross-validation for these models to get robust results, right, to kind of to eliminate this randomness in splitting into train and test set, and then we have a summary. And finally, it should choose the best model from this analysis. Okay, so let's do this, let's run. I, I'm, I'm really excited if it works, I don't know, but let's check. So again, I highlight it, and uh, so now our studio asks to restart, uh, which is fine, right, so we have, uh, okay, so it's actually restarting it, uh, and I may want to rerun it, let's rerun it. So first, let's maybe run these two parts for the data. It's a quite a large package, but it's fine, like it's loading what you need for your analysis. Uh, it's a lot of sub-packages. We have some warning messages, but it's okay, they don't care that much. Then I load these two packages, right, and now estimating, so let's first split it into training and, and test set. And you see there are, again, it's a very small data set, so we have only 8 observations in uh, the testing subset, 24 observations, uh, about 70% in the training subset. Again, of course, for your real work, for your real project or course project, it will not be enough, but you can do the same for your data set. You just have to specify the names of the variables. Now let's run four more, these four models, fingers crossed. Let's see if they work. Uh, okay, so we have warning messages, but we actually get the error message. So SVM is actually not available in correct building library, right? So as we mentioned, sometimes chat GPT is not perfect. And of course, again, since we have a very small data set, uh, so like we have only 24 observations and 11 variables, it's not a big surprise here that uh, it's uh, close to rank deficient, right? So this matrix is hard to invert, right? Because it's close to of not having a full rank, right? But, but again, it's only for illustration here. Like if you work with your real data, it will be fine. And now I have to update this uh, results section because obviously I don't have a model uh, SVM. Let me remove it uh, because it was not estimated. So I just kept this four mod three models and now I want to look at the results. And you see here the statistics, right? For R squared, like one goodness of feet, uh, you have three different models which have been estimated. Uh, you also have root mean squared there, right? So we want to minimize it. Uh, and again, here I see that R squared works the best with KNN, right? And also uh, it has this lowest uh, RMC, right? The lowest root mean squared error. So based on these two statistics, uh, and actually they have, ah, they also have mean absolute error, right? That's also another measure of feet, and also KNN worked very well here. So let's see now if we can pick that from our best model. And once again, we get the error message that get model is not available. So again, we have like 70% success, right? So SVM package could not be loaded, could not be estimated. Uh, and get model is also not available, right? So it's some kind of error in chat GPT, maybe because it was updated in 2021 only. And of course, uh, maybe there have been some changes in the packages that we use. But now I'm curious, what is KNN? So let's check. Uh, chat GPT, what is this KNN method? Let's say I don't know what is KNN. Please explain what is KNN method. And uh, it's a k-nearest neighbor algorithm, right, which is used for both classification and regression tasks. So again, in principle, if you ask correct questions here, you can get not just the code, but you can get some understanding of how this code works, right? You can understand what is the algorithm in the background, Right, and you don't need like you know PhD in computational statistics, uh, in order, or six five years of learning some uh, you know heavy textbooks to understand. Like you have some basic information here, and again for most users it's enough. Uh, let me try something even more interesting. So I want to use an ensemble method, right, of these three machine learning algorithms. So let let's inform ChatGPT that SVM did work. Please write our code to obtain ensemble method estimation for the other three 
methods. So what I want to do here, I want to take the predictions from the three other models and obtain one single prediction, right, based on the ensemble method. So usually it's like weighted by the error. The bigger the error, the smaller will be part of that particular code. But in principle, it's quite common to use ensemble methods because usually ensemble methods use, use work better than any of the other methods. And uh, also report RMC ensemble estimates. So let's try to uh, run this code. So we have this uh, ensemble methods. So once again, we have caret and diverse. We have uh, these three algorithms. Uh huh. Yeah, but you see, it's actually quite weird because it does not use weights, right? It only uses weighted average, which is like random numbers, right? So like one half, one third, and uh, zero point two, uh, which is not good. So let's ask it. Please use weights based. Okay, I, I, I'm curious if it will pick up the question. So let's see. Okay, once again, it will load in this data set. Now it puts 80% into train set. Uh, once again, we have LM, random forest, and gradient boosting methods. Like you see, it's, all, it's all constantly updating the methods it's using. I don't know what the logic, but it does. Now it gets the methods. Aha, uh -huh. and it actually gives us uh, RMC of the ensemble method. This is very interesting. Let's see if it works. So I'm copying this code. I'm going back to our studio and let's use these weights. Okay, so first I'm checking data. No errors so far. We are doing fine. Now we are estimating three models. Uh, let's use zero to exit. And uh, you see, as usual, uh, the code is not reproducible, right? So we have to ask now chat GPT to make sure that actually random force is installed because we got the error message. So please update the code to make sure that all packages are installed, right? Again, it's kind of a little bit iterative here, but if you know the right tricks, it's much faster. Believe me, if you just use Stack Overflow or some online resources, because again, I learned it the hard way. I was looking for pieces of the code. But if you formulate questions correctly, it will save tons of time. That's something I can see immediately. So let's see if it checks the packages. And now it checks the weights and also gets us the ensemble uh, root mean squared error. So let's now check availability of the packages. Uh huh. So, okay, actually, now it's actually uh, even smarter than before. So it has a whole bunch of packages to check immediately, all of them, not one by one. It's very smart. Again, it took, it took me some time to find out at Stack Overflow how to do that, but ChatGPT chat is very quick. So it, we will need this uh, four packages. E1071, it's like one of the very classical packages for statistical analysis. Random forest, obviously, it's a random forest. And uh, I guess K, KNN stands for nearest neighbor, K nearest neighbor algorithm. And Karat, it's also, it's a, I think it's a wrapper for a number of different uh, packages. I'm curious if it works, right? Let's check this code and let's go back to our very long uh, line of code. And you see that we already 200 lines of code. And again, we didn't write a single code, right? We just asked ChatGPT to do it. And it was very successful in estimating mo most of it. So let's actually clean our data set, right? Uh, not to have any kind of noise. So I clean everything to avoid any kind of conflict and run this whole piece. Let's see. Let's have our fingers crossed. Control enter. So it inquir inquires the packages, installs them and gets the error message. So it gives us that it only works for atomic uh, vectors. So after a few minutes of checking the error code, uh, I think ChatGPT got a little bit tired, right? Because it just sends me back asking to provide the code and I refer to the code above but this code doesn't work. Well, in principle, uh, it did quite well until we asked for this ensemble method. And of course, we know that it's constantly updating itself and hopefully this error will be fixed. So I would give a score of 80% for this task, right, for machine learning, because we could estimate a few different machine learning methods. We could get the best model. We got some explanations, 
but unfortunately at the current iteration we could not get the estimates of the ensemble method. So thank you for your attention and see you in the coming videos. Bye bye!